this screencast, we're looking at how chemical potential changes with temperature for a single component. But here we're comparing vapor and liquid chemical potentials. And so the, the basis for doing this comparison is to look at the equation that relates to Gibbs free energy to changes in temperature and pressure where change of differential change in Gibbs free energy is related to, to volume and entropy. And for a single component, and this is important it's for a single component, the Gibbs free energy is equal to the chemical potential. So in this particular screencast, we're looking at constant pressure and just looking at temperature effects. So this term is zero, and then this means that as we raise the temperature, the chemical potential decreases, and it's going to decrease more for something that has a, a larger entropy. And entropy of vapor can be greater than entropy of liquid. Depending on the pressure, it could be slightly greater or a lot greater. And so let's look at a plot of chemical potential as a function of temperature over a narrow temperature range. So I've picked conditions that are relatively high pressure because you'll notice the slopes for the vapor and the liquid are not that different. It'd be a factor of two or so, and that implies the entropies differ by, by a factor of two or so. The lowest chemical potential at a given temperature is the stable phase, so the solid lines correspond to the stable phase. Low temperature liquid is stable, at high temperature, the vapor phase is stable. Now this is plotted over a relatively narrow temperature range, so these lines are linear. The other thing to notice about this plot, it says the pressure is greater than the triple point pressure. Let's just look at a pressure temperature diagram to understand why that might be. So in this pressure temperature diagram, this point is the triple Point. So we're saying the pressure must be above this pressure to have liquid vapor equilibrium. And the idea is that at this temperature we have liquid, we raise the temperature we have vapor. If we were below the triple point, the transition would be between solid and vapor rather than between liquid and vapor. So the important point to emphasize here is that the component with the lower chemical potential is going to be the stable phase of the given condition. And we can relate how the chemical potential changes the temperature by the entropy. Of course, if we covered a wide temperature range, the entry, entropy would be changing. If we look at a different pressure, the slope of the vapor line would change. The slope of the liquid line would hardly change. 